Hi Capricorn, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of June 12th to June 18th, 2023? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Capricorn, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's start with your energy. Spirit angels and guides, please show me what is the energy of Capricorn in regards to love for this week? What is Capricorn's energy in regards to love for this week? And in regards to whoever they're connecting to and dealing with in love for this week, what is Capricorn's energy? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, there we go. Capricorn, Capricorn, in regards to love, Capricorn, this week. All right, two of wands in reverse. The world, the king of cups, the eight of cups, the seven of swords, the Nine of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles at the bottom. All right, Two of Pentacles in reverse, the world in reverse. King of Cups in reverse, Eight of Cups, Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay, so there's still something that you are paying attention to from your past. I mean, you do have the Five of Swords, so I don't feel like you want to pay attention. I feel like you just want to free yourself from the Five of Swords. I mean, with the Five of Swords and the Chariot card, it looks like you just want to free yourself from a, from a past situation, past relationship, past connection. There's a lot that you don't trust about it with the Seven of Swords. Hmm. You, are, you are feeling indecisive, but I feel like sometimes you feel very confident towards one specific direction and other times you don't feel so confident. You second guess yourself a little bit. Yeah. Especially with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, it's like you still feel um, like you want something out of this relationship, out of this person. But I do feel like your mind keeps telling you, let it go, just let it go. Because I feel like it, it frustrates you. I feel like there is frustration here with the Five of Swords. I, I do feel like deep down inside, you're upset or you're resentful, you're frustrated. There is something that you wanted to, you wanted things to work out here. There is a relationship that you wanted to work out. And a part of you like still wants it to work out, but another part of you is already just kind of drained and exhausted and tired with the Ten of Wands. And you just kind of more than anything, it looks like you just want to get away and, and walk away and, and free yourself. But it's like there's something that keeps you held back as much as you want to completely sever ties. 
with this situation, this relationship, there's something that keeps you not moving forward 100%. Let's see what that is. Let's clarify that. Um, I'm going to use a different deck here. Let's use this one. Let's see. Do I want to use uprights or upright and reversal spirit? Yeah, I'm feeling upright for some reason. Okay, let's see. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords and the Two of Pentacles and Capricorn's energy towards their towards their person this week. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. That's why. You see the seven, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? You're looking at it. Look at you. You're the Seven of Swords and you're looking at the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You know this person is, still has feelings for you. You know that they're still holding on to you. And I feel like that's what's causing you to, to feel held back. So I don't know how you know. It doesn't doesn't mean that you know like literally it could just mean that you know intuitively psychically you know subconsciously you know that this person they haven't walked away from you they're not over you they still have feelings for you they're still holding on to you and because because you can feel it you're also kind of still in a way holding on to this relationship you haven't 100 percent moved on yourself some of you might even know that this person eventually at some point is going to return back to you they are going to try to reconnect with you they are going to try to communicate with you some of you know that you don't know when but you know you know it's going to happen at some point so again it's like this this feeling of you knowing that your person is still connecting to you, even, even if you don't see them, even if you're not currently talking to them, but you, you can feel it, you know? Tell me about the uh, Seven of Swords and the Two of Pentacles and Capricorn's energy towards their person. Ooh, look at that. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. I didn't, didn't I just say that? I feel like that's exactly what I was talking about right now. You see, the connection is still there. The emotional connection is still there. It's still being felt. And, you know, it could very well be that, you know, it's mutual. Because Two of Cups many times means mutual love. So... On a deep level, you might also, you know, still love this person or you still have feelings for this person and you're still holding on to them. And you can feel it that they're also still holding on to you. You can feel like unfinished business here with the world in reverse. But, you know, that being said, I still feel like you're in this energy of just wanting to get out of here, you know, because you're you, you feel overwhelmed, overburdened, exhausted. And I feel like more than anything, you just kind of want to free yourself more than anything. All right. All right, let's go to your person now. See what their energy is. Let's see. All right, spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of Capricorn's person towards Capricorn for this week. What is Capricorn's person's energy towards Capricorn this week? What is their energy towards Capricorn and towards their connection or relationship with Capricorn for this week? Capricorn's person. Capricorn's person. Hmm. 
right? Thank you, Spirit. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse. You might be connecting with an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Queen of Wands in reverse. So that's someone who's upset. Yeah, Five of Wands. There it is. Hmm. Conflicted. Page of Swords in reverse. There they are. They are holding on to you. They're watching you, spying on you, keeping tabs on you. Page of Swords. There is currently um, an energy of tension between you two and conflict with the Five of Wands. This person is carrying a grudge with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Male or female, doesn't matter. Tell me more about Capricorn's energy. Capricorn's person's energy towards Capricorn this week. King of Pentacles. Temperance in reverse and the Ace of Swords in reverse. Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so you two are not on the same page with each other. There's clearly a lot of, um, um, like I said, tension. There is anger. There is uh, disagreements here. There is a resentment. It does look like there's also a lack of communication here with the Page of Swords in reverse. And the Ace of Swords in reverse, you two are not talking, you're not speaking with each other. I feel like if, if you two were to, to talk to each other right now, it would only end up in a fight or in an argument or in some sort of you know heated disagreement. Temperance is in reverse, so there's a lot of instability in this connection between you and this person. We have the seven, oh, geez, seven of wands and justice and the strength card. Okay. And the king of wands in reverse, there you are. Look at that. King of wands in reverse. That's, that's the, the divine pair, divine counterpart here. King and queen of wands in reverse. So again, you two are ignoring each other, upset with each other. But but this person is spying on you. So they haven't walked away. They haven't walked away. Look at this energy of them. This is like them pushing you away with the seven of wands, justice and the strength card. There's something that this person feels is unfair with the justice card. They feel like they're justified in blocking you or in pushing you away or in being distant, in being cold. So I feel like this person's being very cold and detached. And they feel like they feel like they're justified. They feel like they're they're right to do that because they feel like you you hurt them in some way. You wounded them in some way. And they they feel like they feel like it was uncalled for or they feel like you were unjustified to hurt them the way you did. Or maybe you block this person with the seven of wands and they feel like that was unjustified, that was uncalled for, they didn't deserve it. Like I said, king and queen of wands in reverse, you two are just absolutely not on the same page with each other. There's a lot of anger coming from both sides or like, you know, feeling offended on both sides. And you have a, a certain point of view that's very different to their point of view. Both of you are opinionated about something and it's not equal. So in their energy, I see them in this energy of trying to resist you, trying to ignore you. Trying to act like they don't care, you know, pretending like they don't care, like they're not 
bothered by you, like they're not thinking about you, like they're easily disconnecting from you and easily moving on from you, when in reality, that's not the case. In reality, this is someone who's struggling to completely let, let you go, as mad, as mad as they might be, as angry as, them, as they might be, they're struggling to let you go because they're still watching you and spying on you. Okay? All right. So Capricorn, that's what I see in regards to the general energies here for the week between you and your person. I'm going to continue now in the extended reading and I'm going to take a deeper look at your situation here. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you, what are their true and real intentions, and what actions will they end up taking towards you by the end of the week, and also what is the general outcome between you and your person, where is, where is this relationship heading moving forward. If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.